This video is going to help um, explain how to solve equations of the form a to the power of 2x plus b multiplied by c to the power of x plus d is equal to 0, where a, b, c, and d are elements of, elements of the real numbers. Two examples. 1. Solve 2 to the power of 2x minus 8 by 2 to the power of x plus 15. This one down here is slightly different, but it's 3 to the power of 2x plus 1 minus 10 to the power of 3x minus 8. Let's look at solution number 1. If we look at this middle term, 2 to the power of x, down here, 3 to the power of x, but 2 to the power of x, we can say is let y equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, that means we're going to get, our equation is now going to be uh, y squared, I'll explain that in a minute, minus 8y plus 15 is equal to 0. Now we're into quadratic territory and you can solve for y. And then when you've got the value for y, you can let it equal to 2 to the power of x, and you can solve for x. But why is it y squared? Okay, so let's do this in red. We have 2 to the power of 2x. Why is that equal to y squared if, if uh, 2 to the power of x is equal to y? Well, the reason is that 2 to the power of 2x, that's equal to 2 to the power of x, which is y squared. I can write 2 to the 2x as x to the power of 2 in the indices. That's one of your laws of indices. So that's why that can change like that. Let's continue on with solving it then. Um, I can then use the minus b formula, the quadratic formula, or I can use factorization. So let's do that. Okay, so I factorized it minus 5, minus 3. If you dif have difficulty with factorizing, you can, as I say, use the minus the, uh, the quadratic formula. And that means that y is equal to 5 or y there should be y here, y is equal to 3. Now, we've done the hard work at this stage, but we need to say that 2 to the power of x is equal to 5, or 2 to the power of x is equal to 3. Now, let's solve this. Because there's an x in the exponent, I can use logs to solve this. It's just a trick is equal to log 5. So that's just an equation. I'm doing the same thing to both sides. I mean, the log of one side, the log of the other. And that's great. I can now bring my x down. x log 2 is equal to log 5. Another uh, um, property of logs. And finally, x is equal to log 5 divided by log 2. So x is equal to 2.32 to two decimal places. 2 to the power of x is equal to 3. Let's solve this. We're going to have log 2 to the power of x is equal to log of 3. And then I can just bring my x down. x is equal to log 3 divided by the terrible log by log of 2. And that means x is going to give me 1.58. Both of these numbers are positive, and both of them are solutions to the original, uh, original equation. Uh, 2 to the power of 2x, and so, and so on. So let's have a look at the second one. So this example here, solve 3 to the power of 2x plus 1 minus 10 by 3 to the power of x minus 8 is equal to 0. It's very similar form. Uh, we still have the 3, 3 to the power of x here, like this number in the brackets, 3 to the power of. So we're going to be saying let y equal to 3 to the power of x. But what about this bit here? What about the 3 to the power of 2x plus 1. Well, this is just equal to 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2x. And the reason that is is because if I have, we just pick, say, 3 to the power of 5. Well, 3 to the power of 5 is equal to 3 by 3 by 3 by 3 by 3. Okay, so 3 to the power of 5 plus 1 is equal to all of these, just 6 3s, which is equal to 3 by 3 to the power of 5. The extra 1 I can bring down to here. I can just multiply it by another 3. So I choose to change this from 3 to the power of 2x plus 1. I choose to change it into, let me go back to yellow, I'm going to go 3 times 3 to the power of 2x minus 10 by 3 to the power of x minus 8 is equal to 0. And this, now y is equal to 3 to the power of x, so therefore this is equal to 3y squared minus 10y minus 8 is equal to 0. And now we're into quadratic territory and we solve this. 
you all have different ways of solving this, maybe from, from the guide number method. Uh, you might use the, the quadratic formula, which will also give you the solutions for y. Um, but I'm going to try using brackets. I know this has to be 3y and y, because that's a prime number, and they have to just be um, 3y and y. And I'll have 8 to uh, contend with. My factors of 8 are 1 and 8, and 2 and 4. They're not too many. And let's see, if I put an 8 here, for example, I'm going to have 8 threes is 24. That's never going to work. I think this is going to be minus 4 and plus 2. So I've got 2 multiplied by minus 4 gives me minus 8. I have minus 4 multiplied by 3y gives me minus 12. And plus 2y is minus 10. So my solution is going to be 3y plus 2 is equal to 0, which means that 3y is equal to minus 2. y is equal to minus 2 over 3. And then over this side, or I'm going to get y is equal to 4. Now I have to let uh, y is equal to 3 to the power of x. That means that minus 2 over 3 is equal to 3 to the power of x. Now there is no number x which can satisfy this. So we're going to discard the solution here. So we're going to discard that. That's an extraneous solution. We're discarding it because no matter what value of x you put in here, if you put in 0, you're going to get 3 to the power of 0 is 1. If you put in a negative number, it's like, for example, 3 to the power of minus 2, that's going to give, just give me 1 over 3 to the power of 2, which again is positive. So I can never make this a negative number. So there's no solution for that. Uh, y to the power of 4 is our solution. So I'm going to get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is equal to 4. That means that log uh, 3 to the power of x is equal to log 4. And it means x is equal to log 4 divided by log 3. I went into this in a little bit more detail in the first example, so check that if you have to. And that's, and that's equal to uh, 1.26 to two decimal places. So that's your answer. Okay, I hope that helped.